I kind of want to add on to my most recent video about gene therapy. I apologize for my appearance. I just wanted to get this out as quick as possible. Gene therapy is like any other type of technology. Uh, once it's invented, once it's out there, you're not going to uninvent it. It's an incredibly powerful technology and if it can do tremendous good, it could also be used by the wrong people to do tremendous harm. If you can reprogram the cells in your body to seek out and destroy cancer, you could also reprogram your, your, the cells in your body to ravage your, your biology. All technology is a double-edged sword. It can be used to protect and serve the public, or it can be used to brutally oppress the public and everything in between, by the way. It's like nuclear weapons. These, these weapons exist. They will always exist. You're not going to uninvent nuclear weapons. You will never eliminate all nuclear weapons. As long as possessing a nuclear weapon gives one person an advantage over another person, nuclear weapons will exist. And the only reason we would ever abandon nuclear weapons is if something better came along, <laughs> that, that were better than nuclear weapons, could do more damage uh, easier than nuclear weapons could. Imagine if the United States was the only country with nuclear weapons. They would have nuked absolutely everyone. They already dropped two nuclear weapons on Japan. They would have dropped nuclear weapons on Korea, on the Soviet Union. They literally were thinking about dropping nuclear weapons on Korea and also Vietnam and also more recently Afghanistan. Why didn't they? They didn't drop nuclear weapons on everyone because the technology proliferated. Other nations got their hands on nuclear weapons and what emerged was a balance of power. A balance of power staying the hands of people who possess this technology. If you, the United States used nuclear weapons on the Soviet Union or their allies, the Soviet Union had the ability to use them on the US. That is the only thing that you can actually do to, to deal with an emerging technology that is incredibly powerful that has tremendous promise, but also can create immense peril. Gene therapy exists. The only question is uh, who will use it and what will they use it for? Will we use it uh, for curing diseases, uh, extending human life, uh, uh, making healthcare cutting edge healthcare affordable for absolutely everyone? Or are we going to use it to hurt, injure, maim, kill the public, oppress the public, control the public? Uh, and that answer is going to be decided by us. If you want to close your mind off to this technology, you say, well, there's a certain product that has come out in recent years that is very similar to gene therapy. It's horrible. I reject all of this technology. You're the same. You're the same as if someone in the Soviet Union saw what the United States did to Japan and instead of saying we need this technology to check U.S. power. Now they possess this technology. They have tremendous power. We need to check that power. We need to do it by getting our hands on this technology. You're like someone in the Soviet Union saying, no, it's a horrible weapon. I want nothing to do with it. I wash my hands of it. I want nothing to do with it. Imagine the imbalance you would have created by doing so and imagine how you would have subjected the entire planet and its entire population to the oppression the U.S. would be able to exercise because they monopolize this technology. You cannot wash your hands of any technology. You have to ensure that it ends up in the right hands or at least a balance of powers created by proliferating that technology into as many hands as possible to create a balance of power, to check people with bad intentions to check them for them to realize that other people have this technology they can hurt you back and they can use the technology to protect themselves as well and this is the key to dealing with gene therapy you cannot look at gene therapy and how they have used it to cure terminal leukemia patients patients that would have most certainly died I talked about Emily Whitehead. She was literally supposed to die. Doctors said she has about a week left to live. They gave her this treatment. She has been alive since 2012, uh, taking that treatment. She is still alive and still cancer free. This is not something you want to throw out with the bathwater because you're worried that the US and big pharma 
and Klaus Schwab and all of these, uh, Bill Gates and all of these horrible people are going to get their hands on this technology. How do you imagine complaining about it and rejecting it personally? How do you imagine that that's going to deny access to this technology for people that want to do harm with it? You're not going to. We need to embrace this technology. We need to take control of this technology. We have to make sure that it's in the right hands. I said that I was going to start focusing on this this year onward, in addition to all of my geopolitical uh, research and analysis that will continue. As a matter of fact, I plan on accelerating that as well. And I'm going to talk about how in places like Thailand, Thailand is a newly industrialized country. They have institutions that are working on gene therapy right now. And so this gives you an idea of how this technology is already proliferating. It's important to raise public awareness of this. The more people that understand this topic, the better we can balance the equation. Uh, so this year, I'm going to try to go to these institutions, interview people involved in this work, and I want to enhance our collective understanding of this incredible technology. Yes, it can create incredible harm, but it could also do incredible good, and we need to make sure that this technology ends up in the right hands. It's already in the wrong hands. If you thought this video was useful, please like and share. Think about subscribing to my channel. It's free to do. It helps the channel grow. Check the video description for other places you can find and follow my work. In the video description below, I will put a couple of links to older articles I've written on this topic so you can get an idea of what I've been covering over the last 10 years plus. I'm also going to put a link into my previous video on this topic just in case you, you don't know what I'm talking about. Also in the video description below are ways you can help support my work. I do not monetize my YouTube channel, so uh, please, if an ad pops up, feel free to block it, skip it. It's not doing me any good. If you want to support my work, please do so through Buy Me A Coffee and also Patreon. To everyone who has been helping support my work, thank you so much. That's what makes this all possible. I'm very grateful for that support. And as always, thank you for watching.